today in the news, AMD's chiplet GPU is getting refined, Gigabyte's concept designer has a brain aneurysm, and we got a little bad news. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Alright, let's get started with AMD, more specifically, the future of RDNA. Back at the start of the year, a patent for AMD's RDNA architecture surfaced. That patent was pretty much the first steps, depicting a departure from the monolithic chip design into the separate chiplet design for a GPU. If we look at how the information would flow, we saw one fairly obvious flaw. The GPU would behave a lot like a Crossfire or SLI system. First, it would receive the memory access request at a primary GPU chiplet. That chiplet would then need to check where the data is, like is it on chiplet 1, 2, 3, or 4. Once identified, the primary chiplet routes the access request to the chiplet who has the information through a passive bridge, here called the HBX bridge. Essentially, it's an SLI bridge. And then when the chiplet that receives the request is ready, it returns the information to the primary chiplet, which in turn returns it to the CPU. Now, that might seem complicated, but imagine it like this. It's basically like a boss slash supervisor slash employee relationship in a floor with closed offices. The boss slash CPU asks the supervisor slash the primary chiplet to check on something, and the supervisor has to go out in the hallway, knock on each employee's doors, and ask them if they have that information. It's a little slow. It especially increases latency. Which brings us to the news, which is a new patent that just came out, which refines on that idea. This passive bridge or hallway now becomes active. It is its own chiplet and it contains the Infinity Cache, aka L3 Cache. You can see right here on this figure that AMD intends on using the 3D stacking method to have the L3 Cache sit atop the chiplets. As you can see, 118 is the L3 Cache chiplet and 410 here on that figure is essentially dummy silicon. That L3 cache is shared between all the GPU chiplets. If we go back to that office analogy, it's like the supervisor doesn't need to go and knock on the door of its employees, at least not when the information is on that chiplet or in the hallway. He basically just walks to the door and boom, the information is available the moment that he opens the door. And all the employees have access to the hallway and are constantly filling up the hallway with new information. Now, I don't know if that analogy made sense to you because I didn't have much time to come up with it, but here's what I can say. Chiplets are not coming to consumers anytime soon. While AMD is refining the idea, it's just not suitable for gaming just yet because it's so dependent on latency gaming that is. And as we've seen with two products that are technically exactly the same, but one uses chiplets and one doesn't, I'm talking about, for example, Zen 2 CPUs and Zen 2 APUs, the latency is much reduced when you talk about a single chiplet design. Chiplets are just inherently not very latency friendly. I mean, the first one going to market with this is going to be Intel with Ponte Vecchio. And it's what? 40 chiplets or so, and AMD seems to be gunning for what they call the infinity architecture in the higher end market. I would put chiplet GPUs for AMD at around 2024, that's my guess, considering how long it took Intel to get here, and considering Nvidia thought of the idea but pushed the development a little further. I believe that was with uh, Hopper. Anyways, let me know what your thoughts are on uh, chiplet GPUs down below. Speaking of out of this world GPUs, we have Gigabyte with the worst but also kind of not stupid GPU render ever. Actually, no, it's completely stupid. So first, let me show it to you. At first glance, you might be thinking, wow, that's cool. You can see the fans from your GPU. No more need for a vertical GPU bracket, right? It's kind of on a 45 degree angle. Well, this card is all kinds of fun. First, the PCB is technically on the wrong side of the PCIe bracket. Second, if we installed this in the system, it would just look like an extra thick cooler and the fans would be sucking hot air off of the motherboard and it would just push it onto the side panel. And lastly, there are three 8-pin power connectors and they're at the bottom of the GPU facing the motherboard? What? I mean, yeah, I see what happened here. I mean, even though the PCB is still on the wrong side of the bracket, that could be a custom feature, I guess, but whoever did the render flipped the IO upside down. 
might have even flipped the image entirely on top of that. But it would be interesting if somebody had a triangular design for a heatsink. Let me know what you think of that down below. Next up, we got some bad news. While they were one hell of an innovative company in the market, LG unfortunately decided to retire itself from the smartphone market. They had so many firsts. First with in-lens camera autofocus, first with Qi charging on the Nexus 4, first with cameras that had a combo of ultra-wide and regular field of view cameras, first to use a dual core processor in a smartphone, first smartphone to record slow motion. In fact, they were the first to offer 1080p recording point blank. Anyways, they had a lot of firsts and it's sad for me to see them go. They only had better marketing. And of course, with bad news comes good news. Um, I mean, it's not really good news, but you can sleep a little easier knowing that an illegal deal of GPUs went south on the China Sea. Apparently, it was something out of a movie with the bad guys unloading cargo onto a speedboat, followed by a high-speed boat chase with the Chinese authorities. Now the smugglers, they got away, but the owners of the fishing boat were detained and in the boat was exotic fish. And of course, about 300 mining CMPHX cards from NVIDIA. Yeah. I know we can't game on mining cards, but at least if somebody tried to do something illegal and they got caught, especially if it has to do with mining, I'm kind of happy. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.